días, mis amigos. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Bus comes at 7.05. Cut it is short. It's 6.58. The bus is only like, the bus stop is only three minutes away, but you know how I do. Buddha. Today we're gonna be good. Listen. No talking. No going under the desk. No going on top of the desk. No spitting. No hitting. Hands to yourself. No kicking. Right? Promise. Prometa. Pay attention, no talking, no standing up, seatbelt, stay still. Diana, do your work, finish your work, pay attention. If you've been following the vlogs, you know that. Yes, I stay at home. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I also work once a week at TTPM, reviewing toys and all that. And we recently just moved to a new office, so it's a lot bigger, a lot more spacious, and I'm still doing the same old fun toy reviews. This is my shelf of toys that I have to review. I look it over, yada yada yada. I write my reports. I play, I play with it a little bit. See the pros and cons. How does it work? How does it function? Yada yada yada. And then I go home. I write up my script because I have to read it. I have to read my script on the prompter and then we record and then I have to write what I spoke online and that's it. <coughs> the adorable poppity whale pop pops five colorful balls out of his blowhole. Sounds dirty. An aquatic wraparound slide is attached to his tail with a See, there's a glare. That's why I'm missing. Oh, because the top light is on. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get to the top, that's when I can see the okay. clamshade. Oh, right. top is better? Yeah. Okay. Right. 2,000 years later. <laughs> my God, apparently that's how an elephant goes. <laughs> I'm like, what? We just did some Instagram, Instagram stories um, with, with the company I worked with regarding like the elephant pillow, my new stool, and this blanket that I'm sitting what? on. And I tell Gunnar, hold on, I, I asked Chapito, I'm like, ¿Cómo hace el elefante? What does the elephant do? And he goes, whoop! Guess whoop! What is whoop? Guess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, real quick, I just remembered. There was some, a phrase that Chapito would always say, and it was like, para, okay? Para. He always did that. And he doesn't do it anymore. And I'm so sad because that was my para favorite cake, thing para ever. Cake, he, para he says, para, para cake. Cake, but para No, I just, para cake, para. para he was like cake. that. And I don't think it, it was ever on the vlog. I don't think I recorded it. So, Chapito, can you do it one time? Para cake, para. Con tus ojos. Okay? Para. Para cake, Not the same. So sad. But anyways, Chapito Casey says, let's see what Chapito did. Show them your Legos. <gasps> Do we see this eso? You guys, this is amazing. Like amazing yeah. for a three year old, three and a half year old. Oh my goodness. You put a door? Look. Wow. You guys, look how detailed. Like, you got it right. The right. The right? The right. Like, oh, loose, light. Oh my gosh, Poppy, you're so detailed. Mm. And then what is this? For the pirates? Yeah, the pirates. <laughs> Hello, pirates. Hello, mate. Oh my god, you're so cute. I love you. Look, I'm so proud Look. of you, mi amor. Look. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Hey, a pirate. Bop. 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 High five. High five. High five. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely make sure the bell is on. It will notify you when a new video goes up. Does anybody remember these phones right here? The Sidekick was by far my favorite phone ever by T-Mobile. Oh my gosh, I loved it. It was a mini computer. Text messaging was like super easy. It was a bigger screen. It's something that I lived on. A lot of us lived on back in 
Wow, when did I graduate college? 2008? Oh, wow! So 2004, 2005, 2006, whatever, I think these came out. And I was obsessed. I would get, I wouldn't use it as a cell phone. I just used it strictly for web and text messaging with everybody. This baby was the Sprint Palm Centro. I got it when I was working at Sprint, also in college. I had like two jobs in college. But yeah, I got this and I loved it. Again, I had individualized lettering here so it made texting super super fast and easy and these were like one of the two phones that just made a difference in our text messaging life back then and i haven't thrown these phones out and it's been what 10 plus years so i was like i wonder what is still in this phone today and so i went to amazon.com and i got the battery and i got the charger and it turned on I turned my phone on yesterday it does work oh, obviously I can't call but everything is still there like my old pictures my old text messages and so I was going I was going through some of my text messages obviously I can't screen capture anything on the Palm Central but I was I took some pictures from my iPhone now and Sorry, guys. <laughs> I took some photos from my iPhone and my wallpaper is a picture of me and my Aulito from Peru. He passed away, unfortunately, years ago. But I'm just like, oh, it was just a nice, nice memory. And this is what the menu looks like. So it's a little s slow. It's not appears not to be slow now. Oh my gosh, I have pictures in here. Oh my gosh, how was the picture quality here? Oh, oh. oh my goodness. I don't even know how to go back. Crap. Chi Chi. What is this? Oh my god, me in my office. Wow. <laughs> See, that's how organized I was. Always clean. Oh, that's when I was a social worker. Look at all those files, all those case files of my poor foster kids. Insane. I have 137 individual messages. Don't even know who these people are. I wanted to read you one text message I had with an ex, Jarrell, and it's just so funny as to how dumb I was as a, as a young, vibrant, 22 year old. I think I was 22, 23 year old. And she's like, jeez. Like, you know when a guy or a girl is interested, they call you, they text you. They don't really play hard to get. I understand not making yourself 100% available all the time, but they're gonna make an attempt to be there and be what you need. You know, they're not gonna play games. So when I was reading this, I was just like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed for younger Bestie. Like, I was so stupid. It's just, let's, let's read. <clears throat> wow, ain't talked to you in a minute. Yeah, that's your fault, ho. Because you never called me. My job Thursday when you said you were. Never howled at me Friday or Saturday. And I made plans for us to go out Saturday. And I'm thinking to myself, WTF do always have to make plans for us to be together. You never made plans. So I felt like it was a one way thing. Me trying to be with you and you not care. So that's you got pissed for what I did, which is understandable. But if you can't get over that, then God forbid it's a huge hurdle and you stop talking to me. What are you talking about? You flip for no reason. Then we talked and it was cool and I was supposed to hit you up like, all right, cool, understandable, but was hella busy. Then, never heard from you again. So I thought there was like a huge problem that I couldn't make it. Huge problem that you couldn't make it? All right, bye. What do you mean? All right, bye. You serious? I was watching the game. <laughs> okay, I just called. You don't know if you got it or ignored it by saying hi. It was nice talking to you for like five minutes the other day. What are you up to? I'm chilling. You? I know I miss you, but we need to talk. Oh my gosh. Larissa, this is the girl. She was my roommate in Washington, D.C. We did an internship right after college. And it was me and five other girls in, in a three bedroom apartment. It was so much fun. I loved it. Um, so this is her. Let's see. 
I know I'm going to start mine soon, so I wouldn't be able to do it. I saw Carlos out not too long ago, and he was talking about how he might, and he was asking, Carlos, which Carlos, your ex, ex boo? No, gay Carlos. Oh, what do you mean he asked you how it was then? Go to Oprah.com, go to search engine, type KFC, print out coupons for the free grilled chicken meal. It's going on for a week. Print some out for the poor. <laughs> well, thanks, girl. Smiley face. I'm going to Peru today for my job. Oh my gosh. When I worked at ESS as a social worker, they, it was like my first week there. And they're like, yeah, we have to take this kid to Peru. I was like, I'm from Peru. So I first week there, I took some girls to Peru and I stayed a couple extra days for, to hang out with family. Uh, so I said, I'm going to Peru today for my job to drop a child off. I shall return Thursday morning. I will miss you all. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't tell you. No, but that's freaking awesome. Bring me back a hot Peruvian guy. I said LMAO if I could find one, lol, because <laughs> I am not attracted to Peruvian men, I am sorry. It was like, I remember seeing one hot Peruvian guy on the beach and that was when I was like 12. <laughs> it is just crazy going through all these text messages because I don't talk to probably 99% of these people anymore. Insanity, I tell you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys still have old phones. And have you turned them on? Have you seen things that are just like WTF? It's fun. It's fun. It was fun going through those text messages. Thank you so much for watching, mis amigos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely comment below. It will help us on YouTube. And until next time, adios! adios.